Peacock, baby. It's a Saturday night in late May. Night falls on Beijing as the entire city prepares for a midsummer night dream. In particular, a group of music lovers are still awake, listening to blues together in the center of Beijing. The band on stage is a local band called Big John. They're performing for the third blues music festival in Beijing. Zhang Ling, the lead singer of the band, is also an organizer of the festival. For me, I was doing a lot of experiments, trying to find out where my home was. Finally, I realized that my home was with the blues. I believe one can try a lot of things throughout his life, but he only needs to accomplish one thing to make his life meaningful. To me, that one thing would be popularizing the blues. Founding the Blues Music Festival was first out of pure personal interest, but now I have greater expectations. I want to turn it into a platform, a platform to acquaint more people with the beauty of the blues. Zhang Ling was born in Beijing in 1967 and raised in a musician's family. In the early 80s, when rock and roll music made its entry into China, as a result, he started to play and sing pop music and even became a top bass player in China. In 1996, Zhang focused his energy on the blues and founded the first blues band. Our first performance was in the winter, December 1996. It was a Sunday, and we were in a small bar called CD Cafe. We had rehearsed only once before we performed. However, we were a huge hit. The bar was crowded with listeners, and our performance was well received. From then on, we kept giving performances there every Sunday. As Zhang Ling recalls, his first band attracted many wild fans, ranging from teenagers to middle-aged people. The best example of this is when they were on tour of the southern China for 40 days. People really enjoyed the music, even if all the songs they sang were English. Good music, as Zhang explains, travels across borders. Blues, in the end, is a way of expressing yourself a way of storytelling, and it's usually an easy, concrete, and concise way to describe a scenario and talk about a problem, rather than preach. The train is gone, but I'm going to catch the next one. Trouble in mind. In other words, it's all about irony, about mocking sad things with a relatively optimistic tone. The simplicity, irony, and humanity of it all can be very intriguing. Blues originated in the U.S. and then spread to Europe, but it's a style of music that has never become very popular in China. It's always been on the fringe of the music scene. Zhang Ling thinks it's because the blues are not as accessible as rock and roll. Although rock and roll stems from the blues, it's hard to get back to the blues. You have to spend a long time feeling it, sensing it, and understanding it. The player has to merge with the instrument. It's like cooking a bowl of porridge, and it takes time. We can hardly expect young people today to do this, mainly because they don't have the patience. All they do is shout, this is me, this is me. And that's why there are so few blues bands compared with rock bands. He wanted a platform where excellent musicians could gather and play the blues. After lots of experiments, in 2010, Zhang took over CD Cafe and morphed it into a new stage for musicians to play the blues. One year later, he organized the first blues music festival. The festival lasted for three consecutive days with six bands playing each day. This year marks the third Blues Music Festival, and in May, Big John unleashed some of the most powerful blues players ever to be assembled in Beijing. Over 20 performers were drawn from local and international destinations to bring blues fans an experience that shook the CD Blues Club to the ground. <laughs> ¶¶
观众还是观众，就是我们老了。The audience is essentially the same, but older, as we are. There are also some new fans joining in these days. Its fans are very loyal because the music enters the deepest and softest part of the heart. Once you're in love with it, you're in love forever. Zhang Ling says popularizing blues music in China won't be a problem as long as there's a stage. He hopes to see more and more local blues bands come into play. Settled nicely in the Russian neighborhood of downtown Beijing, he hopes to create a street blues music festival in China, just like the one in New Orleans.